What's up? What's up? What is up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to another episode of Critically Aroused. We are back. We're here, Guess all three back. of us. It's an actual movie review. <laughs> and I'm ready to do it. Yeah, do not pop us on copyright right here in the first 30 seconds <laughs> by singing a song. So, uh, yeah, guys, hello, welcome. And today we're going to be talking about uh, Chaos Walking, which it seems to be a movie that just came out and... Seems nothing. to be. Yeah, it just seems it, that way. It, it came out, and no, but nothing yeah. happened. Like, did you guys hear a peep about this movie? Like, um, I saw I saw a little advertisement for it. Yeah, just barely. I think maybe on TikTok or maybe it was like, it was like Instagram or something. Or something. Like I saw one. Yeah. yeah, I saw like HP or not HBO. Um, Facebook. I did see advertisement for it, but thankfully it doesn't like autoplay. So it was literally yeah. it was just like, yeah, chaos walking. Yeah. That's that's basically the same for me. I mean, I knew the premise. So the thing was, is I was watching this movie, keeping my eye on it back when they were making it like two, three years ago, whenever it was. And I was like excited about it. And then it just nothing happened. And then all of a sudden it got lost in the COVID shuffle. And then all of a sudden it's out and didn't really hear a whole lot about it. But so uh, one thing I haven't said yet is this is directed by Doug Lyman. Now, do you guys know who he is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, you do? Mm-hmm. No, you have no idea. <laughs> He's got a weird so esophagus. This is the guy that directed <laughs> Stinking Edge of Tomorrow, which is oh, an really? amazing movie. Yeah, it's yeah. very good. Yeah, you've seen it, right? Yeah, so, and I he did Born have. Identity and Swingers, and he's had a really interesting career. He's done a good bit of stuff, and he, he produces a lot of things as well, but... I mean, the arrested development. Yeah, he he's been involved with so many things, but the big thing for me, honestly, is Edge of Tomorrow. Like after he did that, I was just like, I'm going to watch anything this guy does. And Mr. and Mrs. Smith, he and did Jumper. that. Yeah, and Jumper. Jumper was a cool movie that yeah, should have been cool. another like 30 minutes to an hour longer, and it would have been like really, really yeah. good. Mm. Mm-hmm. But he's he's a very competent director, and once I saw that he was on this, I got pretty excited. And so the other big thing about this is that it's starring Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. So we've got somebody from Star Wars. We've got somebody from the Marvel Universe. And then we've got somebody else from the Star Wars Universe, which is Mads Mikkelsen. Mads. Right? And I did not know he was in this movie. When he showed up, I was just like, yes! Yeah, I came in knowing basically nothing. I knew literally. I knew Tom and I knew Daisy were in it, but that was it. And sure. and Same. Nick Jonas up out of nowhere just kind of peppered in there. That's what I was talking about the other time. It was like, yeah, they just show up in random things, but they always yeah. do a good job. I say they, but they I just like include all of the Jonases, singers, right. all the yeah. Jonases, no, like oh. singers, like yeah, uh, because there was the um, there was somebody else that did some other movie that I okay. I'm terrible with names, but anyway, there are lots of somebody's. That wow, do some yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome for yeah. that tidbit of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff here. But he did a good job. Yeah, he did. He, Old Nick. He, he did. He was, so, yeah, this is just, it's a really interesting thing. I'm excited to talk about it. I've heard no one else say a word about it. And and I think a lot of people just, you know, they still haven't gotten into the routine of the possibility of going back to theaters and being, I mean, we live close to a big city, so we have access to good theaters, but especially smaller areas, you know, their local theaters have probably shut down. Yeah. So uh, I think that we're kind of, lucky in that way and you know with us being near the concord mills and all that stuff it's like they have yeah. we have access to two different dolby theaters where most people are lucky to have access to one at all right and and all of those theaters also have imax yeah so but anyways yeah so this is just uh I, i'm excited to talk about this y'all just want to go ahead and move on into uh our scores into the scores and all that fun stuff and actually yeah, before yeah. we get to the end i do want to say because we're trying to get in the routine of doing this but definitely like subscribe all that stuff on youtube give us a comment uh same for uh, all the podcast stuff as well you know give us a uh, give us a review or some stars or whatever you do on whatever podcast app you're using but we'd really really appreciate it it helps people find our stuff so thanks a bunch for that yes please do yeah definitely do but um yeah so let's go ahead and roll on in if you don't know about our format the whole deal is basically just that we are kind of trying to we we skewer Rotten Tomatoes a bit and we analyze it and put it under a microscope and see what the critics are saying compared to the general audience. So what we'll do first is actually, I guess, do you guys want to talk about who should and shouldn't see this or what this movie's like before we get into mm. our scores? Yeah. Hmm. So as far as I always forget about this what part. this thing is like, yeah, this is kind of hard because I mean, I, I was talking to a friend of ours right after we saw it, even though we just saw it today. Um, I, I did, I did get some vibes from Edge of Tomorrow as far as how the world feels. I guess like it is a very different movie, but the cinematography, maybe I guess I think he just has a style. Yeah, like there's something about his yeah. style. And Have the you ever he... played the video game 
Mass Effect because you're probably going to like this then. Huh, interesting. Because that's what I kept coming back to. I know okay. that's not like a normal comparison that we make. Yeah. But I was like, this is mean? like... That's fair. So similar in like the storytelling and style. Yeah. And you're not getting into like one single genre with this movie. Like it very much It actually is... felt a lot like a Western. Yeah, Even it without being a Western. Yeah. It felt a lot like a Western kind of movie. It did. Yeah, it's this... It, it is very high concept sci-fi. And yeah. new concept sci-fi. Which yeah. is super rare, honestly. Um but it's not like a whole lot. I mean, it's an even balance of, you know, a drama with that, like a, some good humorous elements in there, mm-hmm. but, and then action and a, just kind of a peppering of a lot of different things. Yeah. No, it was a very good spectrum of like, you are going to enjoy this movie probably if you enjoy a lot of different things. I feel yeah. like the least that it is, is horror and romance. Yeah. Like, yeah. everything else yeah. feels like you're going to have a good time watching this. Even if you enjoy romance, there's a portion of that yeah. that you can enjoy. Yeah, you can still get something yeah. from that in this. Right. But, it, yeah, it, it's it's really a wide range. It kind of reminds me of um, Annihilation. Okay. In the sense that that was also, like, one of those high-concept sci-fi, yeah. sci-fi kind of movies. This is along that same vein of a very, like, kind of unusual concept being portrayed on the big screen. Yeah, and we're kind of skirting around it because I don't... It, like, if you don't know much about it, I almost feel like this is definitely one of those as well that is better the less you know because oh, it's yeah. going to be surprising. Yeah. I did know the base concept, but not much past that. And it would have even been cool to not know that because once you figure it out, you're just like, this is wild. Yeah, I had I, no idea. Yeah, I literally None knew at all. And I was sitting there, I was like, what in the world is happening right now? Yeah. It, it did make it better. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, I think that's enough to go off of if you haven't seen this yet or if you're trying to decide if you should see it. That's enough to go off of. And so uh, let's go ahead and just make some guesses on what the critics are going to think about this in the general audience. So, And I know Matt's wife is extremely curious about what we are going to guess. <laughs> so <laughs> She is. She is. She really wants to know. And honestly, I am kind of perplexed as to what I'm going to guess. Yeah, I've been debating since we watched it. Yeah. And I've settled on critics with a 65 Really? Okay. And an audience of 85. That's. I think that that's really good. And the only reason that I would guess that low for critics is just because we've heard nothing about it. We've like we've heard nobody talking about it. So I feel like like when there's a lot of buzz around something, you hear more about it. Like you see that's more fair. people talking about it, more advertisements, whatever. Or they're good or bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess it's true. And there just hasn't been a whole lot in general. So right. it's like, were they just lukewarm on this for whatever weird reason? So I guess we'll figure out that. Sorry, I'm alluding to things. I'm alluding to my feelings Whatever on this crazy, movie. stupid reason. Yeah. So, yeah, well, y'all want me to go ahead and guess yeah, then? Go for it. Do it. Yeah, I feel like Matt was really good on this, so I'm kind of struggling. Yes. Yeah, you are. <sighs> I'm going to say a I forgot all 60 <laughs> for critics and a just because I really want to, I'm going to say a 90 for audience. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Man, you guys have totally different opinions about this. <laughs> I think the critics are going to say 50. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you click on that. I don't know. My phone's not you cooperating. You fat fingers are yeah, I do. I'm, I'm sausage finger in this phone. Putting in and these numbers. for audience, yeah. I'll say 70. 73. Three. Okay, 73. It's a good number. Okay, cool. So, but we're all still right around in the same area where we're like the critics. Yeah. It's above 50%, so. Yeah. Maybe. We yeah. don't know. No. From what we did. Oh, our guess. Oh, yeah. Are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think really we can. Um, we can go ahead and move into the actual review, don't you think? Yeah, let's do it. I think so. All right, sweet. So uh, from here on out, guys, it's going to be spoilers. So if you're planning on watching this and don't want any of those, then you know just come back uh, and, and listen to what we have to say You know, after you've checked it out. Because it's 100% spoilers. We're going to do a deep dive here and really get into the nitty gritty of it and really let you know what we thought about it. So uh, spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. Starting yeah. now. So since... I have already basically spoilered my thoughts on this movie. You can go ahead and say it. Like, I, I fucking love this movie. Like, I really, yeah. really, 
really like this movie a, a lot. Um, I it was interesting because in the beginning I was trying to decide like it. I mean it took a little bit to get rolling not that long but i was just like okay i'm like getting into the vibe of this and then like really once it started chugging along i just started loving it more and more and started really liking the characters in it and more than anything just the concept like it's just like i've never seen anything like this like I, I, that i can think of yeah no and, and it was just the freshness of it but, yeah i mean i agree with you especially with your review of it i definitely really really enjoyed this movie yeah there, I do have a couple issues that we can get into later with the movie. Okay. But overall, I enjoyed the movie. Yeah. I, d- I definitely thought it was a great sci-fi movie. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a you fucking people. fantastic movie. I love this movie. Oh, my God. It is so good. No. Right? Yeah. It uh, is. Uh, good. I'm happy you did. I thought you would. a blown, like... All my ex- I didn't have any expectations. Yeah. I was like, I That's the best part. This no yeah. expectations. Just God. makes it so it's much better. So great. Like this format of knowing nothing is the, amazing. The the theme, the like story, the universe that this is built in is great. Mm-hmm. The story was great. The acting was great. The writing was great. The humor. There was. It had like everything. It did. Yeah. And I appreciate not to like skip ahead or anything. No, you're good. Do like, your thing. Yeah, we can get into it. There wasn't like a romance story in yeah. the background. Like. I appreciated that. It was like, honestly more of a joke. Don't make this. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, don't make this of like, oh, she's a stranger danger from outer space. Yeah. And I'm going to fall in love with her. Yeah. Which is what a lot of movies do. But, yeah. and they like kept it to where it was like, you're a creepy weirdo and I'm from space. But like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I can see your thoughts. Yeah. And dude, that whole premise is just like terrifying to me. Oh my yeah, god! My right? inner thoughts are. Oh, my inner thoughts are terrible. <laughs> they just be like here. Mine That's be like, where I'm kind of like, wow, ass, like, I can't buy all the guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the women. killed all the women. Um, it's just like yeah, because they're well, and you got to think like like uh, Tom Holland's oh. character was so just like innocent and pure and everything. Just right. like he'd never been around any women. But it's like if it was any of us and you think about like those first men there, oh it's got God. it's gotta be just like the most like awful shit that these women were hearing. Oh yeah, just, because like, just imagine like you think something like, Oh look, she's really pretty looking and yeah. then like let's say you're married and she like your wife hears your yeah. thoughts and all of a sudden you're in deep shit all of a sudden. Yeah. Well yeah. and and they do focus on how like as your thoughts like how they repeat and you'll yeah. you'll like hear him, and he'll like say something over and over. He'll be like, "She's lying. She's lying. She's lying." Yeah. But it's like it, it, you know, if any other circumstance, he'd be like, "Dead ass, dead ass. <laughs> what up, girl?" Like <laughs> she got that booty dough. <laughs> Which I mean, that's how you think normally. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not like you think a thought once. Yeah. You you keep thinking the thought. You may think it in variations, which they even covered. Like yeah, they, they covered <laughs> just navigating controlling your thoughts like so well and yeah. this could have been something that could have been son- done so terribly yeah like like the everything about the concept of this movie could have been tom holland carried this movie <laughs> god he's so good Very man good like job. that was like my one complaint about the movie was i thought daisy did not step up acting wise to compared match to what he was doing tom yeah acting i i thought she did a perfectly fine she job. did a yeah. good job after the first was, third of the movie yeah I, well and i think it was partially because she was written to not talk right like yeah but you can still have nonverbal acting yeah and then part of it was also the writing where so if something crashed close to my house mm-hmm. i would probably go investigate it I'd probably hear it everybody would probably know about it yeah the yeah. fact that they didn't hear and it. nobody knew it. about it when there's trees knocked down she had time to fire. bury the rest of the crew right? yeah the, the and then only... she didn't mourn them like in front of anybody else it seemed yeah that that's that was what bothered me in the beginning but the rest of the movie i totally forgot about until afterwards huh and then i was talking about xena and she was like what do you think about this and then i was like oh i totally forgot about that because yeah. the rest of the movie made up for it right. but i was like this seems like they kind of rushed it or yeah they didn't portray something as it was probably portrayed in the book they, they could have cut out some there for sure which it is based on a book it is, it is. yeah so we, we found saw. out at the end of the movie yeah did anybody hear of that movie or no, i've before? never heard of the book no yeah. but i guess i'll be checking that out of- yeah, it you was can't a can't hold don't don't hold knives. It was a weird Something name. About hot knives. Shouldn't be held. I don't know. Space bag. Yeah, <laughs> this movie was actually really funny. Spaceball. It I, was super funny. I I laughed out loud more in this movie than I have in a while. Yeah, it was just like space it, it was. Girl, stop thinking that. Stop that. It was. Tom Holland's yeah. so good at doing 
awkward, uncomfortable, weird humor. True. Because he's got bees in his mouth. <laughs> Just always. Always bees. He's constantly heavily fighting his British accent. Like, you can tell. Mm, it, yeah. it, he is, like, work. He has well, to that's work. why I'm surprised they didn't just let his British accent out on this mm-hmm. in this movie. There was not a reason not to, necessarily. Yeah. But they just well, decided because he not was, to. Yeah, I guess. I mean, but then... Well, because they had Swedish, obviously. Yeah. Because Mads was in his original. And also, one of his dads... And can I just say, talking about dude, his dads, dude, uh, yeah. his dads were they were the best, thing. fucking fantastic. Yeah, like if oh, I had yeah. gay dads, I want those, those two, two men- dudes to be my dad. Like well, right no, now, they're hard they, asses. They I don't were want both that. like the most. But they like, were badass. macho, manly. <laughs> like, <laughs> that movie made me want to be manly because they <laughs> right? were badass motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. loved their son and like. Whew, so God. you ready for this? The, the dad. The first dad that died, Killian. Yes, the the big or something, like yeah, muscly yeah. something with a Killian. Yeah, I, think so, I think it was Killian or Killian. That's Kurt Sutter, the guy who wrote Sons of Anarchy and really? created and directed Sons of Anarchy. I've never seen that show. Really? Oh man, so it good. doesn't really fit so up my alley. I, dude, it's, it's so still good. pretty good though. I, I like thought that, and then I started watching it, and I ended up watching all of it in like yeah. one year, like a long time ago. But yeah, it's it, he's the guy that. Yeah, he looks a lot different. He's bulked up. Like he's, well, I mean, had, dude, has he both. acted in other yeah. stuff, or is this his first like? Acting no, he thing? was in Sons of Anarchy. Actually. Oh, was he? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He he's an odd ball though. He like he's an odd guy, but he did a fantastic job in this movie. Like dude, they both so like, good. Oh, they I, both did. My heart. Like I, well, that's what I was saying. Like the acting was phenomenal, so and good. then you yeah. saw Daisy, and I was kind of confused by her acting for the first third of the movie yeah because if she's scared then okay be scared right but then she was just kind of sitting there like staring like not scared Mm -hmm. not talking yeah just kind of there and also why was she so like on the defense from the get-go like like it's not like they're not i don't understand i understand once she heard mads like being like we need to like we're gonna take over the ship and destroy everything then i understand yeah, but if they're just but, they're other human beings, it's not like you didn't expect to meet humans there. Like they were yeah, going yeah. to the planet. You knew there was a ship that went there before the you. first colonists. So it's like, why are you hiding as if you're on some alien? Which I mean, it turns out it was a good thing she did. But <laughs> right, but it just it doesn't was. make any sense. I'm just like because she also right. landed you're, besides like the, beside the worst people on the planet. <laughs> yeah, she picked the well, wrong colony. She to picked land the wrong true. colony. As we find out, there's yeah. three yeah. other colonies or two other well, colonies. Another confusing thing: How is she the only one to survive? That wreck, I think, because she unbuckled. Yes, and she climbed to the top. The bottom, the whole bottom of the ship I was, was on joking, fire. But... No, I think well, it was like she like unbuckled <laughs> well, no, and I, like clung I to think the she went to get in the captain's. Sh- That's she was what I thought to. she was yeah, going yeah. to do. I think she got and up it, there. Is I the mean, maybe thing. they just never showed it. Like I wish they, they just shown her. Like it would have taken ten seconds more. To, like yeah. showing her like climbing in and buckle, and buckle up. I think that's what we were supposed to infer is that she made it to the captain's chair. I guess she survived. Yeah. It was just very strange that she was like so suspicious right away, as if like there weren't supposed to be humans here. Like, <gasps> yeah, like they weren't like you're all to terrible. Find yeah, it's like no, you literally went there to meet to make contact with yeah. the first colonist, and it's like, yeah, why are you so scared that you're stealing from the settlers and running away from them? It's like, yeah, well, when okay. you have just walked in and been like. Why? Be like, hey, 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 hey I'm, right over there. Here. I'm from Earth. I mean, it's a good thing she didn't <laughs> do that. She's not girl. technically from Earth, okay? Yeah, that's true. Actually, it's a, it, they, she should have because, like, the the fathers yeah. were, they were good totally people. on board with it. Like, yeah. they were the right. nicest people Right, they were the good guys yeah. in, that, in, that, in that town. A hundred percent. Like, yeah. obviously, the, the son, I almost called him Shia, but <laughs> Tom yeah. would have, I don't know, they relate to me in my mind. I, I Anyways, Tom... Would have probably ratted her out, obviously, because she he did at the beginning. Well, it's because he can't help it. He well, yeah. literally can control his thoughts. Well, also, <laughs> but he did go to the mayor to let him know, like, yeah. whenever he first found it. Because well, he that's had because that... that's what it, he's always thought exactly. and told. Well, and I was kind of thinking Which about totally it. Makes sense. Like, I was thinking about, like, her role and the not talking. And, and my guess is that is kind of how they did in the book. But it's, like, by nature of, like, this story... It becomes more interesting if she's not speaking because right. you know what everybody else is thinking. So right. instantly, like the whole story is more sure. interesting if she doesn't talk and he doesn't know what's going on in her head. Yeah, sure. And she so, sure. Just like as a concept, it makes sense to me why they did it. I wish there was a little more explanation as to why. And my guess is that in the book, you get inside her head, but he's not inside her head. Yeah, I'm guessing it's something maybe along the lines where she she's watching them first. Yeah. 
And she wrecks farther away than they, they, they kind of allude to in the movie. Yeah, that's my guess is the wreck was further than we... Because it seemed really close in the movie. Yeah. It was just like, oh, I can run over here real quick, and I'll chase you real quick. Yeah. And it's like a five-minute walk from my house. You know, honestly, the only thing, now thinking about it, I hadn't even thought about it till now, the only thing that I think I wish I wanted more from this movie was more of the aliens. Yeah, well, that was another weird thing. True. It was like, like whatever aliens, was are bad, aliens are bad, aliens are bad. like, oh, And then he fights bad. the one... And the one's like, nah, man, I didn't really want to fight you. Yeah. Did you see how his chaos changed? Like, oh, so whenever he was... The, the, what did they call it? The noise? The noise. The, the, the noise. noise, yeah. So how his noise changed whenever he was just on his own. And yeah. then whenever he was seeing and fighting Tom Holland, it was that black, purpley, like... I did, and then yeah. as soon as like he a... saw Daisy, it went to the, like... Calmer, yeah. happy, fluid, which yeah. made me wonder if the alien initially thought that he was from the colony he was from, and then when he saw a woman, was like, "Oh, you're from one of the good colonies. We don't have to fight each other." Mm-hmm. Well, oh, see, I, that's, that's where I almost I mean? had that's after that scene. I had hoped because I kind of knew they were going to find a colony that we would have seen some of the aliens like amongst the colonists. Yeah. Oh, like working with them. that because that, even if you saw out from the distance, you'd be like, "Oh, look, they're actually friends." Yeah. And that would give you more that, well, something was wrong with the other colony. Yeah. Which the dude or, or the alien did fight Tom. Yeah. Well, and he but, initially came after him and started dragging him. Right. Exactly. Oh, yeah. He did attack him first. Yeah. But so, like but, you like said, said, it could be they, that they know about that colony that murdered all the women. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, these are pieces of shit. Yeah. yeah. These Let's are the bad guys. Them. Pretty sure in any, yeah. uh, any race or anything like that where you kill all of one. Yeah, and you're kind. Yeah, it's probably bad. Right. Yeah. So genocide is frowned. <laughs> yeah, just generally, universally. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, literally. I, uh, I, I just everything about these, just the whole concept. Like, I, I just, I was kind of watching. It, I just kind of couldn't believe that they were doing it. It's just like, yeah. like, and that, that so unique. That it was working. I love it. Yeah, yeah and it, it's just one of those things. Like how. It's almost like how have we been seen movies and stuff for this long and not seen a similar concept? Where it's like, right. I've never seen anything like this. It's never been visually displayed that no, way. To where, no. Like, they've had, obviously, like, movie shows, where uh, all the things where, thinking. like, you hear the inner monologue. But yeah. this is, like, to where everybody can hear it. It's not just yeah. for the ser- fan service of where, like... You You're know. hearing a character thing. Oh, right. Here right. I was thinking it was going to be a normal day. Here's the inner <laughs> thoughts of, you know, yeah. somebody. But, like, this is... And it was a very accurate depiction of how like inner thoughts work of where like you can't control it like with tom yeah. obviously that was like one of the funny things where he was just constantly like saying shit he <laughs> or i say saying but thinking things thinking things mm-hmm. which are portrayed in the vocal thing yeah. which is also a weird if we want to get into like physics of how that works but anyways <laughs> aliens um yeah. <laughs> but it was very cool yeah i i really appreciated it i love how a good job of it, there I were things that would happen in the movie and you would you would physically see something happen and think it was real and then you'd come to find out that you were seeing the noise right. project it like when that he's was like cool. making out with her and yeah God, I, that was like I did one of the best I, I, that one so caught me off funny. guard i was like Wow. Okay, I didn't think they were gonna yeah. go. I was there. like, man, they rushed right to kissing in this. Like, I, I this yeah, seems quick. <laughs> you did. I, I did got not. big brain. Yeah, big old wrinkly <laughs> oh. brain. Yeah, I, I did knew. not. And like when but Mads did like get me with the with the Daisy coming out of the. Oh, thing. see, I, I didn't thought know because that. they had no. showed that they'd shown that he had not really released his noise, yeah. and so I was like, he's pretty powerful. Yeah, noise wise, he can control. And yeah. I was like, I, I, I thought that was a fake. The whole time. That makes yeah. sense. And so he yeah, he made them think that Daisy was walking out. And, <sighs> right, or, well, Viola. Yeah. Viola. Yeah, man. And they were not, like, shy about killing people off. Like, yeah. Or animals. Off, dude, oh, dude, the dog. about the worst The scene horse of the movie. and the dog. The oh, only, the horse, too. I forgot about the horse. The only movies I've ever seen that have killed animals like that was called Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> And it is literally mm-hmm. one of the most scarring horror movies. Uh-huh. And it's supposed to be like some of it's real, supposedly. Oh, yeah. supposedly they actually killed animals on set. Yeah. Because this was all filmed down in like South America. It's it's like one of the most graphic movies of all time. Yeah, pass. Yeah. Pass. yeah. And supposedly some animals were accidentally killed on set. Like, yeah. This, that was the Accident only movie the- I've seen that killed other animals yeah because a lot of horror movies just kill humans well it's like you see like war movies sometimes kill horses and stuff but it's pretty quick and brief and right john wick 
Yeah. yeah. All about kill those dogs. Them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you kill a dog. I mean, that's traumatic. Never ending story. Dude, and the way that he killed that dog. Horse in the tar pit. Can we say that? Yeah. Is that never ending story? Uh, what? I don't remember. I don't know. The. It's. God, what's the horse's name? I don't know. No, you, I never liked that movie. I didn't like that movie no, either. No. Um, I've never seen it, but I know the scene about the horse dying. <laughs> and it scarred a lot of people. Remember that movie? Said. I've never seen in that super scarred scene. Yeah, no. so, You've never uh, seen it before. The priest in this movie Dude. was Dude. freaking insane. I actually he liked was. him. No, I actually did too. I did too. I actually really. I wished there was like. A backstory more, behind more explanation like, the to church him. having like fiery thoughts. Yeah. Well, it was, no, the, it was just a fire so and brimstone. Cool. Yeah. I mean, oh, it was just, yeah. if you just think about it, it was really one of those fire and brimstone. And then he murdered a bunch of women, so he really was mm-hmm. like, "I'm going to hell, and she's going to be the, my like savior." Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I feel that that's yeah. what I picked up from it. Yeah, well, and that's why I was glad she did kill him when she killed him. Oh yeah. my god, dude, he would just like burst. I had into hopes flames that he had become like good. Just no. Oh, oh no, no, just no like going back a around. wandering yeah. charred corpse that would like have uh, his his thoughts like encompassing his entire body. But you well, like, you, like see him later on where he's just like, you know, scar tissue the entire time. <laughs> but he's just like a walking thought. That'd but it was really cool wild. how they did it though, where you saw his like name. noise just fade away like yeah, a vapor. Yeah. True. So yeah, yeah. It, he, his character was just so wild, and, and that's just more to show to like they were just so. So many well written characters in this, and even the side characters, and just yeah. everybody. It's like Mads was great as always. As always, he's dude. such a good bad guy. Well, it's like the second I saw him, and I was like, he always just looks like a bad guy. And yeah. then ten minutes later, I was like, oh, he is the bad guy. Is bad. That yeah. makes sense. And even though like Spoiler like Nick Jonas's role was really smart, <laughs> we're past know? that. Yeah, yeah. He really bit. smart. It, uh, Nick Jonas's guy was not smart. He was a big old really dumb dumb. Yeah, he was a big idiot. But yeah. he had a small role, but it was still and a like, small penis. <laughs> probably it had a very. It was a very good small role. Like yeah. it was. It they weren't just like, look, it's Nick Jonas. It was just kind of like, here's a character doing a role. Like, yeah, because that could have been anybody. Yeah, it that could have been some no name, and it would have been out the same. Like, yeah, being yeah. Nick Jonas did not make that role no. like any more significant. No, but right. he still did like a. Totally fine, like yeah. really, really good job. So he did a big dumb dumb. Yeah. yeah, and as somebody who's craving for his father's attention, who has obviously shielded himself, because if you grow up in a society where you can hear everybody's thoughts yeah. except for your dad's, mm-hmm. you, that's got to like fuck with you, you know, psychologically. Oh, where yeah. like you're always trying to fight for his attention, and then I'm you got Tom Holland from... who's better than you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Tom Holland's like, your dad likes me better than you <laughs> like, all the but time. You suck. Really? He's no good, <laughs> right? <laughs> So I kind of feel bad for him, even though he is a yeah. dick. Like, yeah. Nick Jonas is, is a yeah. dick. Just <laughs> clip that, like, that one little segment of me saying yeah. Nick Jonas <laughs> is a dick. Great. You're going to get us canceled. In this right. movie. <clears throat> yeah. I, it just... I, there are so many things that, like... I really liked how also, even though it was a full-blown sci-fi movie, and you were getting, like, you know, the sci-fi element of them, you know, s- seeing their thoughts and then manifesting their thoughts into actual things in the world you know you also had these moments of just like them in the wilderness just like hiking yeah. and going through all these beautiful places and, yeah yeah and like even just the small little scene of him wrestling the tentacle monster and killing it <laughs> yeah. and them eating it like him getting butt naked for her and uh well, i thought that was interesting because that was a very interesting little dip into like the psyche yeah, like he hasn't he's never seen a woman he didn't think yeah. women are real he, yeah it just never occurred changes. to him that he needed to be have shamed modesty. by his body or anything. Yeah, yeah. so he was just like stripped down. I was like, all right, I'm going to go go get his dinner. Yep. Just and like, she was just like, oh, <laughs> okay. She did not divert her eyes. No, she did not. Afterwards, she just looked at the ground She's and thought pervy. about it. Yep, she just kept sure. watching. Well, and also, I really liked the scene when he's super angry. And um, I think mm. it was after his dog was killed. And yeah. he's walking through and he's throwing his knife. Yeah. And he's just like bullseye shotting his knife into like every tree. Yeah. And I'm just like, it shows like he's a badass. Like this character is still like, he's yeah. a legit badass. Even though he's still struggling with like, be a man, be a man. Yeah. Don't cry. Which yeah. is another thing that was like, it's Inside a good lesson to where it's not like, it's not heavy handed, shove it down your throat. Right. Yeah. Like, you know. But that's also how a lot of people are, you know, a lot yeah. of males are taught exactly. as kids. Like, Don't cry. Yeah. Sure. Suck it up. Like, right. Well, and, and, this is being a man is not crying. Right. Well, sure. Like, well, and also though they showed like that that wasn't necessarily like a full blown like a bad thing either of him just like 
putting mm-hmm. into himself like sure. I need to do more and like I need exactly. to like be strong right now. Right. Like like this is just the program that I'm running through my head to be like I've got to be strong. I've yeah. got to be strong. I've got to push through this and I'll deal with this later. They showed mm-hmm. both sides of yeah, the they coin did. of where like you can be vulnerable, but there's yeah. also times where you need to be strong. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's it, very sure. It, it was it, it, I didn't get <laughs> good. It, it was real good. <laughs> good. I, I didn't good. get any vibes of like any even though this could have been just with the subject matter and them killing off all the women and and into the men's thoughts and all of those aspects, I didn't get anything that felt like some super heavy-handed agenda in here. Exactly. But like, it still teaches a very valuable lesson sure. of, like what we just said, that men should be vulnerable. Yeah. Or can be. It can be, yeah. Should be allowed to be vulnerable. Yeah. Without being condemned of, or shamed and, you know, thought of as not being men sure but at the same time the opposite side of that is where like you need to be able to like <sighs> girdle your loins yep. <laughs> and, and conquer the challenge that is in front of you yeah 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 it, it, it really i thought it hit the nail on the head with all of those yeah. concepts and, and to where even though like his colony the stuff that they did was so bad and so messed up you know, it showed that it's like this didn't happen all over the whole planet. It's just like it happened in this one colony where it yeah. went wrong. Like there was a guy leading the charge that was very <laughs> charismatic and yeah. he led them wrong. I mean, you could apply that same uh, yeah. ideology to a lot of current political issues. <laughs> yeah. You if could. you want to, where it is a small group. Yeah. Making problems for a lot of other a lot people. of people. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, you know, you had the other side of things where it was harmony and they made it work. And, right. yeah. you know, at the end they address it and they're like, you know, he's like, you're here to stay. And he's like, she's like, yeah, like we can, we can do this. Like, yeah. We came here to make this our home. Yeah. Like it I would love to see like a follow up to this movie. Yeah. I don't know if I want an actual sequel, but I don't like put it in like a comic. Maybe it is. Comic. Maybe there's Just a second like, book. There's probably more. Oh books. yeah. Right. I, it's I a book. Yeah. Reading. Sure. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, you're uh, asking too much. He wow. Yeah, one he of you can't even read involved. over there. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pictures. That's why I need a picture book. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I would, I would enjoy seeing, like, how they translate that. Because, like, yeah. imagine 4,000 people. We'll mm-hmm. say it's a 50-50 split. Dudes to women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Varying races. 2,000 dudes. Not controlling their minds. Oh yeah, because just imagine all of a sudden not being able Whew. to control. You have no filter. Yeah. Like your filter oh is God. just that you have to aim what you think about. Yeah, yeah, it, all it would, the time. Well, and that's the that's an interesting thing that you know they they didn't they skirted around but didn't really have to get into too deep where it's like you know it, like the women in this society like due to what has happened you needed to also have women who just had to accept and be okay with the thoughts of these men. Like right. men are going to have certain thoughts. Oh yeah. It's like, yeah. like, cause just imagine like from a woman's perspective, that would suck. Yeah. Oh, it would be terrible. Well, it's it, bad on all ends. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like, if it was reversed, I mean, it might not, it probably with the men, it'd just be more pervy shit that's getting loose and they're hearing about. Uh, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll, both. I'll, it'd I'll probably still be embarrassing. Like, right. either yeah, way. Right. Yeah. Women either are way, be, very pervy. That's true, yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. just as horny as we are. <laughs> so, I hate to what? break it to you. It, it, would, it would probably... Secrets out. Well, maybe that's the thing, is that since we're not in their heads, we don't know. If we were, then we might think that they're just as sleazy as we are. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> I'm in their brains. <laughs> They're just as easy. <laughs> so yeah, it it just like it's just a, a really interesting thing where it's like if they were either if you saw the beginning of what we didn't see in this film where everything that happened before or even just this new colony, the the, the process of them adjusting and like having to be okay with coming to grips with like yeah what people think yeah it, and then it's, it's totally understandable concept. that the dudes mm-hmm. like that they resorted to the extreme that they did about the women not portraying their thoughts out loud of yeah. where they're like oh they don't have souls like that is a that's very... such like a religious like <laughs> yeah but it's something that is totally like within the realm of possibility if that oh, was a yeah. thing yeah. of like yeah oh yeah that, yeah we we burned women alive because we thought they were witches so <laughs> yeah. right because they could grow plants or you yeah. know whatever their yeah. reason and all were. it took was yeah. this guy who was hyper charismatic and whatever and he yeah. was really good at controlling his things and he's just like yeah, like, I'm good at this. Can't you see I'm good at this? I can control all this stuff. Like, right. I'm telling you, they don't have souls. Like, yeah. they are evil. Right. So, And it, it was very interesting at the very end where, like, Tom is confronting Mads about 
uh, like all the women he murdered. And like, I feel like he was trying to, I feel like there should have been more than what Mads was guilty about just killing them. I feel like there was some backstory there. Like he was rejected by a woman because of his thoughts. Yeah. Well, that's like, where I, feel I like felt that's... like there are several times where things kind of like that happened, where there's yeah. definitely more... There's more to the story here. Like, cause he also, Mads would do that thing where he was like, Believe in the circle. Yeah. Believe yeah. in the circle. I am the circle. Which, yeah. I am the circle, whatever. Or, and we yeah. never found out more about that. So there's definitely more to it, which I'm guessing is probably in the book, books, book, probably. which I can appreciate. Sure. Yeah. Not like knowing about, because if you know if they included right. all that, it could become could, could become cumbersome right. yeah. on the movie. But as a book lover, I'm sure people are like, oh, I can't believe they included that. Exactly. Which right. I feel like that's what you're talking about with probably. the same thing. Yeah. 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 Well, and it's like, I feel like with how high concept this was, it's like, you know, without it getting just super, super lengthy or way too confusing and like in the weeds of all these other characters and stuff, mm-hmm. it's like they probably did had to narrow down like the path that this movie took. Right. Like, and for me, it's like those little bits that they left out, I would absolutely love to have them. I'd take them right away. I would love a director's cut, but at the same sure. time, I'm okay not having Yeah. Them. I mean, mm-hmm. they did a very good job yeah. of like eluding to what was going on yeah. obviously like just the guilt of murdering the women was enough like that's sure. fine but like he didn't seem like the person who was guilty or her who would feel guilty about you know things that he had done that you know was I mean? kind of like, out of character yeah like because then all of a sudden he was like oh all these he's like oh obvious I, projections yeah right. he like fell for it Are, i think like, it was just to, like push me off this ledge right yeah it's but I can I can respect that and that's fine. But I, I I still know in the back of my mind there's something deeper to where mm-hmm. like probably whenever they first got there and like his thoughts like it probably betrayed him in such a way that like he was either lost his wife or lost mm-hmm. his girlfriend or couldn't get one or something like that. But it deflected well, his. That's where I almost feel like, like he had lust lustful thoughts about other women or, or even like about tom looked, like tom's mom right. yeah like it made me wonder like i it, thought for a second I, I there i was like I don't make too. him his dad that yeah. i don't thought that's where they're going with it yeah uh-huh. yeah i thought so too well and, and i wonder like maybe there is something in the book that was deeper in regards to that and they just weren't giving it and this is i don't know if you got this movie was pg-13 it was not our which kind of surprised me. How? They drowned a dog. <laughs> How the yeah. fuck was that not rated R? It you show sure that to a huh. 13 year old, I'm telling you, fuck him. them up. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that it was. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Rating him. I've ever heard of Show one. that to a kid. Yeah. I and, I, and I will say, like, I liked the priest at first, mm-hmm. but, like, obviously after he killed a dog. No. But he was such a like <laughs> a, 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 he was such a wild card. Like I couldn't get well, a that's grasp what I liked on, about like, him because it just showed that there weren't not everybody was under control of Matt. Right. That's yeah. what I liked about because it, it showed from the very beginning that this dude was not trustworthy. Mm-hmm. But he was respected above everybody else. Even Mad respected of. him. I don't think so he the, respected him. I well, think it was just otherwise like otherwise Mads would have just killed him. Like he w- he was like I'm going to go to the village to get this woman. He was like okay, we'll just follow him rather than just shooting the dude. Obviously he has no like reservation from just shooting people that disagree with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like obviously like there's something going on and I bet there's a backstory to where like the church plays a bigger role to where yeah. like they're like the Catholic Church nowadays yeah. to where like I say nowadays but Probably not as influential now as they were back in whatever time. But, like, that ideology of where, mm-hmm. like, they mm-hmm. control so much yeah. politically and sociologically to where, like, the him, him as the mayor has more power over the people, but he still has to respect the power of the church. So, I don't know. I feel like that... Because that's the only thing that makes sense in my mind. Otherwise, like, True. why respect? He's just fucking. But it could have also just yeah. been where, like, he knows his some of his men still believe in the church. Which so Mads knows that he can't same. kill yeah. him because there's people underneath him that still like exactly. are believers. Yeah. Which is like maybe or just what he I'm was yeah. very instrumental in helping him do what he did back when. So it's yeah. like could have been because it definitely seemed like he killed. Right, a lot, a lot of, of did the y'all, women. Did y'all yeah. like complete that circle for his story? Because it was still kind of like so. fuzzy. Like I feel like what he said at the end, where he was like, "I, I couldn't some... hear the voice of God over my own voice and my mind," mm-hmm. and which was probably like, like he had lustful thoughts. Because I mean, this is what I keep going back to. But yeah. like as a guy, it's probably true. 
where he probably was having lustful thoughts about and some of the women. People were here. And that's it. how he wasn't able to, like, commune with God. Maintain yep. his purity, right. Maintain yep. his purity. And so that's probably what drove him. It helped. The fact that everyone yeah. could hear. Made right. him want to eradicate them. Right. Like, yeah. Instead of, like, secluding me. himself. Yeah. Right. He was like, no. He's like, these people don't have souls. Because they're not—they're all devils. So I'm not technically being. And, and Mads probably honestly used him to help with his agenda. Oh, a hundred percent. I think that was yeah. definitely an agenda pusher. Yeah. So yeah. the two probably did marry together and yeah. help push the agenda and murder all the women. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. That sounds it, right. Just yeah, man. It's it's it it's was a that's very like, good it's, movie though. It is, and it, that's why I'm hoping the critics liked it more than i'm guessing but i just oh, have yeah. a feeling yeah we got to know. look it up so I'll go, ahead. We'll, so we'll go ahead and move on into that um to may 2 that's why i went as low as i did because like yeah well, i didn't want I don't it too low it. because it was a really good movie and i think a lot fantastic. of the critics are going to be like we yeah. see why it's a good movie and i think that the audience but it's a sci-fi yeah. movie so you know right. critics i feel yeah. like they're extra judgy about sci-fi movies yeah yeah they're like oh the concept yeah and I could see them not. I could see them being mad because they didn't. Mads. <laughs> mads. That, that they didn't push enough of an agenda. Like that it didn't. True, like, it really where didn't it was push available one. to, and right. they didn't. Like I could see people being. They mad did a about good it. job of balancing it out to where like. Oh, you already. already... Sorry. No, I, you're fine. I, it's it. just of like. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm the Jesus. What the, I'm the hell? Because what in the that fuck? garbage. Critics are idiots. Dude, I idiots freaking hate critics, critics, critics so much. Critics like, I idiots. hate them so much. Oh, See, God, we it just feels think bad to what? feel so right all the Assholes. time. Okay, oh, so this has, a, right again. this has a 21 <laughs> on the tomato meter from For critics. 96 reviews. 96, 96 reviews. which is a low number, but it still, that is a bullshit low score. Bullshit. I don't understand. I don't like, know what people like, but obviously. Well, we do. You do know what people do. like. It's you true. Right. I have been right. Well, you said 73 on audience, which. 73. Was 73. Oh, shit. I was yeah. dead on with that. Dead oh, on. I forgot. Dead wow. ass. Yep. You were right on it. So, yeah, a 73 by audience, and that's from 500 plus people. And I can see this number going up with more rating oh, or more sure. people seeing Dude, it watch once it's this not in movie. theaters. Yes, most definitely. Watch it. The, it is just so good. This continues to come back to the thing. This pisses me off <sighs> that the situation is people are only going to see that 21. They're not going to see the 73 because they don't show that set, that that audience score. They're going to see the stupid critic score and they're just not going to watch it. Yeah. They're going to blast that in front of everyone's face and they're going to be like, look how bad this movie is. Mm-hmm. So what it says for the critics consensus is chaos walking sets out on potentially interesting path, but this dystopian adventure badly bungles its premise and limps towards the finish. Like what? At what no, point? It didn't bungle anything. The premise is very the premise solid. Is fantastic. What point was it limping <sighs> towards the finish? So what, was, whatever he got what, shot in the back, he was limping a little. Right. Bit. Oh. Let's see what. Let's see what the audience's Literally. consensus is Physical. that they decided for the audience. Mm. Chaos Walking's unique premise helps offset the story's predictable and confusing moments, and the greatest uh, and the great cast makes the sci-fi adventure that much more exciting to watch. And it's just like even that in general. Now, granted, I didn't find it to be confusing at all. And, and there's I, also nothing predictable. I didn't think that it was predictable at all either unless yeah. they showed a whole bunch in this trailer that was one thing we didn't uh, go back yeah, and do we did not the watch the trailer, the trailer this time there is a chance that they spoiled <clears throat> this whole freaking movie in the trailer oh, um but mm. i mean uh, it's just so funny because this audience this audience one is p- the polar opposite of what the critics one is right it's just like like and the critics are just fucking idiots like they're <sighs> idiots but, i hate to be right uh, it's yeah. it's a Burden. It's a curse. <laughs> so uh, we've got a uh, Wait, someone the from top right the, one. the one on the right, the right, not the left. Yeah. So this is Peter Travers, actually, from ABC from News. ABC News. Um, oh he yeah, said old, his, old Pete. Old Pete. I don't. D bag Pete apparently calls mm-hmm. it a hot mess and throws a wet, wet blanket of dystopian <laughs> drivel on fresh young stars Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland. Chaos limping is more like what it. What is it with limping? What? Why are, why are you Did so we obsessed miss with something limping? about they limping? Probably, they probably okay, just pulled wait. that from okay. his review. Hold up. Mads did have a limp. Did y'all catch yeah. that? Mads had a limp. No, I didn't. Really? Yeah, he was a limper. 
Oh, it's mainly like like derogatory when I say yeah. that. <laughs> I don't have anything yeah. against handicapped people. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not going to defend myself. He didn't yeah. have a limp. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong so, with that. So why don't you read the one from, uh, from Oliver Jones and the Observer? Okay. So this is a solid tomato. In our current age of pre-processed film spectacles, there is something strangely pleasing, exciting even, about how profoundly unkempt this all feels, especially for a film on this scale. But he only gave Which, it two point five out of four. That's what I, I was just about to say. What do you, it's insane. What's like, on Kim? Like you didn't what even give it a three. Kim? Like I, I just don't even know what to say about that. Like, and it's even a solid tomato, like, but like I just don't. Bro, it's just a good movie. Like, like, <laughs> like I just don't even know. I, I would just have to have, have an, uh, an actual conversation with these people because I don't understand what they're. Yeah, saying. I want them to actually explain to me. Yeah, what they're talking about. <sighs> Maybe we're just not smart enough. Oh, I guess. One hundred percent. That's know. what it comes down to. We're just not or, smart or enough. Maybe they just think that they're too smart. That might be it. Could be. So, no, so like, <laughs> Randy Meyer says, uh, "There's something worth exploring here, but the story is stuck in the gestating process." And I'm just like, "That's absurd! Like, it does not feel what, like this wasn't thought through." What are they talking through. about? Did we watch the same movie? I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, it feels like these people saw a totally different thing. Or movie freak here, this Sarah Michelle Fetters says, it's hard to imagine a more forgettable a forgettable piece of sci-fi hooey than Chaos Walking. It's just like, how is this forgettable? This is one of the more what? inventive sci-fi endeavors <sighs> that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I completely agree. Now, yeah, they have not done anything like this. It's just splat after I splat know. on here. There's one more solid tomato here from Piper. Uh, it's Perry. Or Perry, I mean. Perry Nemoff. N- Nemoff. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, it's There's YouTube. Somebody, uh, YouTube. Yeah, Nemoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, she says a narrative mess that uh, coasts on its fascinating core concept and the power of Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley's screen presence. I'm just like, I, what was a mess about this story? I think, well, okay, so from their pers- her perspective, her perspective is that I think she just didn't like that she had to infer a lot of things, which we did talk about. Sure, you do have to infer a lot of things, but like, how, do you just have? But to... they weren't major things. No, Sorry that's what I'm saying. You, no, no, no. Saying, no. Like, yeah, you're right. Like, that's basically what I was going to say. They weren't story breaking and inf- inferation. That's not the right. <laughs> that's not the right. It's okay. <laughs> I just made it though. Inf- inf- inferations. Yes, it's sure. The that's act of word. inferring yeah. the inferations. <laughs> Um, <laughs> look it up. It's in a dictionary somewhere. Yes. The sure. dictionary is well, they add new words all the time nowadays, so sure. Yeah, yeah. Go add it in. Um, it's a criticism. But they, yeah. <laughs> well, um, so, but I mean, it's, it, they weren't like story breaking things. Again, like my biggest gripe about like the, the priest, like yeah. he was like an oddball in the story of where like he didn't really contribute anything, but he added some kind of like like conviction to the the story like it it, it made it more convicting well and, and Obviously, he, i already he, said that but he, I mean, like he added the an element of danger to women. them as well but like, he didn't harm any person until he killed a dog <laughs> but i mean like he seemed very harmless comparatively mm-hmm. at the time i thought he was actually going but to he also to be seemed a good very person. hellfire because yeah. that's the whole time I was fanatic. just like, yeah, yeah fanatic. fanatic. Yeah. And the whole time I was like, hmm, definitely don't like him. And then like Mads, I was like, okay, like I, I can see how he's likable. Sure. And then you saw they're in cahoots and that they were like. Yeah. And even the part wherever like that she had first ran away after she like blew up the building that she was first in. Yeah. And Tom ran past him with the bag in full view. And he was like. She's a fast one. Or she said he said he meant the the priest mentioned something about her speed, and so I was like, oh, maybe he's good because he like let her go by, like saw mm-hmm. her ran away, mm-hmm. but then it like completely changed from that. It was just it was a weird story arc. Mm-hmm. So that was my my biggest complaint is the priest. But outside of that, fucking fantastic movie. Yeah. Like yeah, I will put that I... up like guns to guns to like any other sci fi movie, and yeah. I can. Like, make comparisons as to how it's better or slash worse. Like, yeah. as every movie is. Like, this does things that no other movie has done. Like, where it's, like, literally your thoughts are spoken out loud. Like, what other movie are you going to compare this to? Yeah. I don't know anything. Uh, none. The Force? Uh, uh, like, yeah. Star Wars? Can there was a chick mine? flick from the 90s where... Um... 
A guy could hear all the women's thoughts. It's like a, oh, that does sound I can't remember Richard what it's Greer, and it's what women want. No, it's not Richard Greer. It's what women want, and yeah. it's the, uh, Charles, the guy who's uh, anti-Semantic. Um, Semitic? Semitic? No, he's he hates Semantic. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Semantic. <laughs> Anti-Semantic. <laughs> <laughs> it made myself laugh really hard. Um, no, he was in the Patriot. Oh, he oh Mel Gibson. The passion, yes, Mel Gibson. Yeah, it's what women want. Yeah. Mel Gibson. Yeah, but that's like the only movie I can think <laughs> about so where nice. somebody can hear other people's thoughts clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Anti semantic. Oh god, I, I like just that. Peaked that's us, really I'm sure, good. but oh yeah, we did. We blew fuck out semantics. Of... Am I right? I'll fix that later. In the mm. audio, but yeah, honestly, I just don't even want to talk about what these assholes think. Like, I, just, I mean, y'all have heard like, our thoughts. Yeah, you know what we think. Just like, go I watch just, the movie. And, if you yeah. like sci-fi, I can almost guarantee you're gonna like this movie. Yeah, I would just be shocked. Like, all, f- I mean, we had four people go see it. Now, granted, a lot of us have similar issues, uh, issues, interest. Guy is getting late, guys. Interest, but at the same time, like, I mean, we. It's rare that all four of us unanimously like it to this level. I think true. I mean, um, I mean, we had like one actually board. fairly recently, but yeah, but I mean, but still, yeah, across like, the board, we don't do this very often. Yeah, yeah for and sure. especially even adding in, you know, Zena when she went with us, and yeah, she, from what I gather, <clears> she, she liked really it. Liked she it, did, it yeah. I feel like she really liked it. Yeah, she, she was, freaked out whenever Mad showed up. She was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, she loves Mad. Yeah, yeah she does. Yeah. But so yeah, I just don't even want to talk about what these people think anymore because yeah. they just no. suck. Like I this just really hate. Here. Like they're they are gonna single handedly and oh, have. I'm sure. Well, that's the, this and that's movie. the funny thing. So like, if you're worried about COVID and all that, and like going to a theater, <laughs> we there was literally the four of us we and were two other people in the entire theater. We went at yeah. four thirty. It was the <laughs> only Dolby the- showing. Opposite yeah. side of the theater too. Yeah. yeah, and that was it. And I was like, people should be going to the theaters. They it's should. not, maybe not on a Saturday. Well, and maybe it's if you're worried, half, don't it's talk at half Friday. capacity anyways. Well, yeah, because right. there's plenty of space on both on both sides. Which if so you care like, to that need level, to get back out there. There's tons of movies coming out. We're rolling. We're ramping back up into the spring summer. Yeah, we have so many movies in theaters coming soon. Like, I yeah. hope people get just to back keep this keep industry going. moving. That's the thing like, is, it's gonna die. It, we're gonna, AMC yeah. is holding on. But that's just because they're the biggest. They're at 90% yeah. capacity right now. Or yeah. open. Open. 90% of their theaters are open right now oh. at half or kick. Capacity? <laughs> half capacity or greater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'd be curious to go see a movie on like a Saturday to see how full the theater would right. be. Yeah. It would have to be a banger of a movie, though. Like, obviously, this is not Well, that's the problem, like... is this is a really good movie. But no... Right. Critics are giving it shit, and yeah. if people are even concerned, they're right. going to go to see what the critics say, and they're going to go, oh, I'm not going to go see true. it. And by a banger, I just mean, like, if it was a Marvel movie... Yeah, or well, I guess what, movie, or um, blah, blah, blah. Black Widow in May will be the first Marvel movie. Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, well, May. yeah. That's Jeez. what one of the executives at, at, at Disney saying, yeah. So far away. So... Yeah, we'll see. So but anyways, well, guys, uh, I think that's it. We're going to wrap up on this. But uh, as far as the review goes, but we got to do our send off songs uh, before we head out of here. So I think these two have their songs already picked out. And I sure can pull do. up mine. We only do this every week. Yeah. Yeah. We only do. Well, I mean, I have mine. I'm just saying I got to pull it up here. <laughs> Matt, you So what do you guys know? have? Okay. So mine is a cover. Okay. Um, it's called a Hot Girl Bummer. <laughs> But it's a cover by Our Last Night, so it's kind okay. of like a punk cover okay. with a bit of screaming, so it's, it's a fun remix, or nice. remake, I guess. Okay. And Chris, what you got? Is Skrunk? What? Well, they have a screamo, but if it's screaming oh. punk, is it Skrunk? Skrunk? Probably. Hmm. If it's not, it should be. Should be. Uh, mine is by a band called Excuse Me. Okay. The period. Yes. And then the uh, the song is called The Bike Song. The bike song, <laughs> and it's a very that sounds like, so innocent. It is a very innocent song, talking about like your first wreck on your bike. But it's like a love story song. It's good. Wow, we Check have very out. different songs. It's a banger. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be quite different. So by a banger, I mean it's a melodic <laughs> love song. <laughs> no, it's just them indie. banging things oh, no, together. Bike together, banging. actually banging. They're like, just having sex. Oh, there's just people song. literally banging. <laughs> yeah, that might be interesting to listen to too. Uh, so the one I'm going to do is, uh, and the song's called Stella Brown. Uh, Chris, you're really going to like this one. I actually I found it 
I don't know if you'll like it or not. I think you will. You probably okay. will. So I, I was completely perplexed by the artist and like the voice coming out of this person. Oh, yeah. Because I could not figure out. I literally had to look it up on YouTube because the picture did not match the voice at all. Mm. And so I watched the YouTube video. And I was like, nope, nope. That's the person that's singing this. Yeah. Blew my mind. Couldn't believe it. But nice. so, yeah, the song's called Stella Brown and it's by... Uh, Jelani Araya, it's J E L A N I, and then last name A R Y E H. So it's, it's, I literally found it this morning. Like, I just, I was bopping along to it, and it was really good, and did some more digging and figured out more about it. And nice. so, yeah, I like it. It's, it's a good, it's a good Jelani. song. So. Cool. Yep. I Jelani, like the name, so. too. Cool, 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 right? So, yeah. So, definitely, you'll be able to find those on the uh, Critically Aroused playlist. It's Season YouTube. 2. Yep, Season 2. Not Season 1. But check out Season 1. Great playlist. Fuck Season 1. <laughs> what? Just kidding. It's Super great. long playlist. Very good one. And we were literally just listening to it together the other day. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. And definitely check that out. And then just go ahead and uh, follow and listen to the Season 2 soundtrack as w- or playlist as well. And that's going to be in the YouTube as well if you just go to playlists or in uh, Spotify. And there's a link in the show notes. And uh, as far as next week goes, we will probably see the movie as oh, yeah. soon as tomorrow uh-huh. because it's coming out. Actually, there's a rainy day tomorrow, so I will probably be watching it during the day tomorrow. But we are going to be doing the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Yeah. And today is St. Patty's Day. It so. is St. Patty's Day. 17th. Yep. For you free future yep. listeners. Yeah, so the movie will be coming out <laughs> on the 18th. And uh, it, it'll be it's the Zack Snyder Cut of... The Justice League. And we'll talk more about the ins and outs of this movie, what happened, why they made it, what the deal is with it. We'll get into the nitty gritty of all that if you don't really understand what the hell it is. Because it's kind of confusing. Learn. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a weird story. I'm going to watch both of them. Well, so yeah, so I'm I already not have. watching the old one. I'm just watching <laughs> Oh, no. I, I want to torture to. myself, and I'm going to watch the old Dude, one. Well, okay, so you weren't yep. here. I don't talked about it two weeks ago. <laughs> no, well, you were here. No, I know, but um, continue. I liked the first hour after watching it again. I actually really enjoyed mm. the first hour. I know it's the been a long time. Hour the first hour, it? yes, of the original. Yes. Okay, the first hour, the back hour, it falls apart. <laughs> but like, I mean, just fall, I literally can't tell you that. anything about the first but one. I couldn't have either until I watched it the other day. But yeah. like, I was an hour in, and I was like, "Why didn't I like this movie? What the hell? Like, this is actually good." Yeah. And then, like, I kept watching. I was like, "This is why I didn't like this movie." I have realized. It. So, okay. like, I'm really interested to see, but I'm excited about it uh, and us talking about it. And we're actually having Chris Talent back. He's our big DC fan. He knows a. He's just all about DC, and every time we review yeah. it, like when we did Wonder Woman the other he's day, he's such like, a big DC. Yeah, he's such a big DC. So, big. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, he's going to be coming, and I think Office Maid's going to be back to run the uh, run the other stuff. Really, it'll just be him sitting in the yeah. shadows harassing us. So David Travel will be here too, probably. So it'll be fun. We'll have the full uh, we'll have the full crew here. It'll be hot up in this room. So we'll uh, we'll be talking about Justice League, and that will probably be all we'll do next week. Would be my guess. Um, uh, just with how many people we have on and everything instead of doing streaming and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, it'll be a lot to talk about. Yeah, so I think we'll probably just talk about Justice League and from the looks of it right now, we'll be talking about it on... or we'll be doing the episode on Tuesday and so you might be able to hear what we have to think about it as soon as Wednesday. Granted, it'll be... It'll give you a little time to actually see it. Yeah. yeah. In the 20s. And it's on HBO Max. Yes, it'll be in the 20s of this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, the, probably the episode will come around, out around the 24th of uh, March. So... Yeah, but and it's on HBO Max. Yeah, like Matt said. So just uh, you will have to have HBO Max to watch this thing. But yeah, it's not theaters, right? Yeah, I, as far as I know, there were talks about maybe releasing it in theaters, but up front, it is not. And just beware when you get into watching this movie; it is over four hours long. So be prepared. Yes. Be prepared. And actually, with it, they're launching a thirty-minute <laughs> documentary that I will be watching and talking about. So. <laughs> Oh, I have to watch so much stuff for this. <laughs> Documentaries? It's going to be a lot, yeah. yeah I'm watching this Friday night. terrible movies? <laughs> or maybe a good movie. And what happened to no, the No, it's a DC. Movie. Don't give it. Yeah. Don't hey. give it credit yet. Well, yet. understandable. Hey, there are some DC movies we like, guys. There are yeah. some. Uh, outside of that, I think that's it, guys. Y'all good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. We're glad to be back. Have the crew here with you. And uh, as usual, special thanks to Dominic with Ketsa Music. It's uh, Ketsa, K-E-T-S-A, music, M-U-S-I-C, KetsaMusic.com. And he's on Instagram and everywhere else. And uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Critically Aroused. <laughs> and uh, check out our website. It's really rad, and there's a lot of stuff on there. It's uh, criticallyaroused.fireside.fm. It's actually a cool website. It is. It is a really cool website. Yeah, and that's criticallyaroused.fireside.fm. And uh, 
maybe one of these days Chris will have his uh, dream journal blog on there. So uh, oh. hadn't told Matt about that. Oh, we, we, no. I found out we have a blog. Oh. And I was like, what are we going to blog about? And we said that Chris should have a dream journal yes, on our blog. Oh, we can <laughs> alternate on our dream yeah. journals. You Brother, get... you have dreams? Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, as someone who doesn't dream, I won't read either of them or give a shit. But it will be on the website. It's fine. <laughs> I don't need your so, proof. No, I dream. I just don't remember them. So. <laughs> oh, I have intense dreams. Yeah. See, that's, I just don't remember them. I'm some kind of like serial killer or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's it, guys. Thanks. We had a blast. And we will see you next week. Deuces. Till next time. Bye. See ya.